So folks, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last episode, we left Skyloft, came down to the land below, entered this area, and wait, what's this thing here? Oh, I thought there was something, like, weird there. Anyway, came to this place, entered this temple, uh, wondering what's going on around here. Is, nobody knows. Wait, is there someone? That is someone. Hey, is that the character from Journey? The PlayStation 3 game that, like, sells really well because it's so artistic, and I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This game actually came out before Journey, didn't it? I think it did. Ah, uh, the Traveler, destined, descended from the cloud above. I welcome you, child of fate. Hmm, yes. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link, good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when the pointed sword... <laughs> the Skyward Strike is your command. To command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade that you carry, the goddess's sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. I think she was kind of speaking in rhymes right there. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. Yeah, that's something everyone wants to hear. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you descended to this land in a shower of light. There is no doubt in it. The gears have f the gears of fate are turning. Vettel one action. This isn't that one stupid fighting game. Yet yeah, all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner that she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts. Yes. That is understandable, but for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. If there is a place you want to go, the X upon your map <laughs> will marks this path that will lead you to Farron Woods. Or is it Farron Woods? Either way, you will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and the map may not provide may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. I love beacons. Beacons taste good, especially on a BLT. Mmm, buddy. I'm not sorry. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light, point that the X and the C to reach the beacon. There. There. There, I'm trying to hit the beacon. Now you haven't yet set a beacon over X yet. I must have... Oh, press C. Okay, it's this is kind of why it kind of pays to read. All right, I'm gonna hit the C button and place my beacon on my lettuce and tomato sandwich. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front door and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for the beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go on now. You must head to the fire and woods to chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room and you may find there should be proof. They should prove useful on your journey. Wow, it's like, uh, how is that pendulum like moving so much on its own? She ain't even swinging her head. Then again, I guess it is magic. <laughs> you are ready to leave. Through the door before you. And head into the woods, I wish you safe travel. And know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. It's yeah, just so you don't spoil much of the game. To begin with. Anyway, let's go. Also, I just realized I just maxed out on rupees. That means I can't really collect much more. Okay, though, we're outside. Strutting my stuff, walking, talking, don't even give a flip. Oh, there's a beacon. It doesn't look like bacon at all. Huh, <laughs> do you... Also, it is pretty cool that in the, like, the far back, it kind of blurs a little bit more. But in, like, kind of a stylized, pixelated sense, which kind of works for its little, uh, painterly style. Art stuff. Yeah. Look at all these precious... Ah, the birds flew away. Okay, oh, snap. What's going on over here? Out of the way, scram! Don't worry, buddy, I'll try to save you. Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Ho! Oh, bees! Oh, God! Yeah. Better leave him alone, guy. Hick. Really? Oh, whoa, wait. <laughs> I'm mad I'm talking to him while they're attacked. Get get them. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Peace, son, you're on your own. 
See, I, my issue with this game is that like I'm not really good at defense exactly, so I might just get my butt kicked if I'm not careful. If I'm not careful, <laughs> I'm so gonna get my butt kicked here. Swing! I might actually do like a kind of. Do they not see that he's still here? You know what? It doesn't matter because I killed him, and I killed another guy, and I killed another guy, and I killed another guy. Ooh, thanks for jumping in there, rescuing me, bud. <laughs> you don't even know my name. Just who are those red pests? I did not expect them to turn around, turn, run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into the one of your kind today. I'll tell you, all sorts of weird things are happening lately. How are you big for taking care of those guys? So let me tell you something fascinating. Like what? Oh yeah, this is a Goron, if you guys didn't know. A Goron? Go on. I am Goko the Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there is some kind of place above called the Isle of the Goddess far up in the sky. Hmm. He doesn't know. Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks for those traveling up to the sky or down to the Isle of the Goddess. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly the statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but for I for one believed it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? I mean, why would they? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Eh, not really. Ah, uh, that's so, bud? I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess it can wait. I'm, I'm, I'm curious if any of the people watching this actually are curious about more information, or like, just want me to get through this story, because, you know... Whoa! What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, but how crazy is that? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright, let me make sure I save, because I haven't saved since even the last episode. Okay. Nice, nice. Goro! What was that? The statue here reacted to you. What did you do? Come on! <laughs> do not make this big guy beg. I have to know. Can you show me? I want to know all the secrets inside. Mm. According to some kind of ancient text. Yep, I love the goddess. I'm a little bit tired. I'm sitting to about 8 a.m. today. Wait, no, I actually took a nap, though. And 8 a.m. isn't even that early. Mm. God dang. Can't wait till the semester's over. It's a real head scratcher. Not really. I don't care. Maybe I'll read more later. For now, though, I'm going to go on my mission adventure. Alright, let's let me try to see if I remember all my moves so I don't get my butt kicked. Shield. I gotta shake the Wiimote to pull the shield out. So I shield bash to begin with. Sword, 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 sword. Uh There was some kind of thing you could do to like even it out. And I don't remember what to do. I'm trying to remember how to even out the sword when you're trying to when you're running around, because sometimes it will kinda go off balance a little bit. If you're not careful, but it's never that bad. Push, push. Well, that takes a good chunk of the stamina, but it's fine though. All right, up, 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 up. How are we doing on time? Almost nine minutes. Oh, there's my beacon. It's not even anywhere really important. You know what? I'm taking it off the map. Taking my beacon. I don't care what you got to say about that. Or maybe, well, it helps to lead the people in the right direction, I guess. But I already knew where to go because I didn't give a flip. Oh, cool, new location. Master, you have entered Farron Woods. Mm, yes, thank you, Fee. If that wasn't obvious. <sighs> That's a big ass tree. I wonder if it's uh, relevant to anything else in the Zelda franchise. And not like in a weird kind of like, you know, odd sense. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity. I didn't get to finish reading V. <laughs> it is logical that the lush plant life and the water resources are attracted to animal species into the region. See, the one time I don't have to read at my speed, and suddenly it just wants to skip around. Thanks a lot, game. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, good, good, nice, nice, great, great, absolutely awesome, fantastic, amazing. But yeah, left the sealed grounds in Farron Woods. Don't know why it's called Farron Woods. Looking at the probabilities, it's extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in this area. Okay. I recommend that you continue to use your dousing abilities to search for her. I don't need no dousing. I get no douse, but I get up again. Nothing's ever gonna keep me douse. I get no douse, but I get up again. Nothing's ever gonna keep... Oh, cool. Check this out. 
Next gen technology, ladies and gentlemen. Unreal Engine, eat your heart out. Okay, now I just want to make sure I activate all of these. Activate. I guess I'll use this dousing thing so it'll shut up. There we go. Gotta go in this direction. Let's go! Adventure! Yeah! I just hope that I don't run into any bad guys. Uh, never mind. I hope I don't run into any bad guys anytime soon. Oh, there's some. There's, there's some bad guys, right? You freaking get out of my way, you freaking god dang piece of stumps! Man, this game sure is leaving me stumped. And he get it. Oh, they seem to be bothering. Why are they bothering that plant there? Why is that plant shaking? That's mysterious. Oh, get, get, hit, hit. No, wait. No, let me get. Yeah, you can't block. You yeah, jerk. You got ornament skull. Simple yet slightly macrame fashion statement bears the bulk of blend symbol. Macrame. That means that it's uh like what's the word? Not dormant. Hey, speech bubble on top of this little plant. I wonder what kind of plant is it? It's not a plant at all. It looks like a little pink it does look like a little penguin kinda. Huh? It's gone quiet. Oh no! Quiku! Now there's a green one! I didn't even know they came in green! Don't hurt me, Quee Queep! Coo Queep! Oh, what a what a pansy! What a chump! What a loser! Master, I picked up a highly interesting spike dousing readings from the creature that you just encountered. Zelda? Really? Now I'll just say really. Uh, yes, Master. Based on the creature's characteristics, I must conclude that it's a peaceful, forest-dwelling animal, known as a Kikui. Kikwis are intelligent being capable of speech. However, the creature could obviously not be confused with Zelda. It is unclear why a creature would elicit such a dousing response attuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature and investigate this phenomenon. All these not even big words. But I am kind of curious how a little kid would get through this game if their reading level isn't really that high. Not like my reading level is any higher either. Bah. I feel the energy to keep on running. Yeah, oh. I was about to jump off that cliff too. Do you really think he got away that easily? Huh? Oh no. Dang, what a chump. Well, but this I get it best. I guess I better go find it. After I activate this. Actually, I think they're all automatically activated as I get close by. You think you can get away? You think you can get away from me? I don't care what you gotta say, Fee. Yeah, you better run. Oh, god dang. Get out of here! Okay, he might be a little bit harder to find now. Time to switch settings. He's not in the settings section. I wonder where he went. Oh, where? Oh, where did my Kiki gone go? Gone, gone, gone. Where did my Kiki go? I'll never find him again, my little buddy. No, oh, I think I see him. Hey, yeah! Vertical. Horizontal. I mix those two up. There he is. You can't run away that easily. You can't run away that easily. You can't run away that... You can get Okay. Let me just hit this thing, scare him away. Oh, no. You scared me away again. Okay, where did he go this time? Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But have you seen Zelda? Please don't... Something or another. Okay, no, seriously, where did he go this time? Clearly he's behind one of these mushrooms. Unless he's a badger, 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 badger. Although I could just cut all of these and hope to find it. Hope to find him. Oh, there he is. Heh, heh, you can't hide forevers. Wow, he didn't even... He's not even bothering to hide anymore. What a pansy. It spotted me again. Quee. The defense mechanism activates. <laughs> huh? You don't want to eat me? Quee, that's kind of... Think of it. Why did you fight all those red monsters? Kika, leave. All these goddamn... I'm Machi. I'm a Kikui. You seem okay even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. I'm not gonna read all these. <laughs> a little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Who? Zelda? Not like he even knows. What's a Zelda? <laughs> I don't know who this girl was, Kukui, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. 
How did he know she was a girl and not Link would be a girl if this is her first, his first time seeing him? A pack of those mean green guys were after her, Kui, but she escaped with the Kui Kui Kelder. Kui Kui Elder. Man. No one... <laughs> Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. The information indicates that she was assailed, assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she's still in ins insignificant danger. Uh, insignificant. Insignificant. So she's in danger, but if you read the thing wrong, she could actually be in not as much danger. Play on words. Furthermore, my analyst... Analysis suggests that this Kikui is most likely produces a false positive dowsing reading due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize that it is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing and search for Zelda. Okay. I probably could have used the douse ability to find this guy easier, but you really spook me, Kui. You keep some very strange company, friend. Kui Palip. <laughs> It sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the elder. If you're heading that way anyway, Kui, could you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, Ku Kui. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Yeah, sure. Sending me on little wild Ki Kui hunt. Goose chase. I don't even know. Let me just push this thing down and allow me for a little bit of shortcut in case I actually have to come back here later. Yeah. Oh, I got an amber relic. These amber relic chorns are not... No one knows what the strange shape comes from. I got, I'm stocking up on all this. What am I going to use it on? Later. Wait. I see something down here. Real quick. Real quick if I could. Hit. Oh, get it. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Okay. Whew. The little barb was uh kind of stuck on me. It would have... I think it would have blown up if I, you know, took my sweet time. Thankfully, though. Okay, I think... If I recall correctly, I might need to be heading up this way. Or if I use my dowsing ability, I can actually follow where I need to go. Follow me. Set me free. This dowsing isn't really... Oh. I'm in the right way anyway. Let's go. Get out of my way. There we go. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> you want some of this? Take this. If I could... I can't roll it. If I, I think I can throw it, though. Eat this. Don't taste too good now, does it? You chump. You loser. You joik. You ain't want to get out of Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that a... Oh. Is that a deck? Oh. <laughs> There's just too many bad guys at this moment. Take this. And this. Get on, son. Man, I, I'm, not, I'm not ready for any of this. It's going to throw me in a panic. On the plus side, though. Getting all these shortcuts, able to find my way around here. Looking for the elder. How are we doing on time anyway? Almost 20 minutes? I guess when I find the next um, save point, I guess that's when I'll call it quits. Hey there, boo boo. Let's call it quits from here. Ah, I couldn't hit him. Wait, I know how to do this. Defense! Get on, son! <laughs> I could ask counter. Oh, no, you don't. Horizontal hit. Yeah, get on, son. I just, I just, I don't know where I even got that from. I think it was from like a Newgrounds animation. Hey, what's that giant nut just sitting on the ground there for? Oh crap, I forgot I actually have to shake the Wiimote to swing. Motion controls! Oh, it's a giant Kiwi. -ki. With a giant moustache. Kui, -hi, I am Bucha. Or Buka, the Kui Ki Elder. I saw you, uh, I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage. <laughs> you are clearly a master, so woodsman. Where's Zelda? Zelda? Ah, the girl creature with the blonde hair. Wait, blonde? With the B L L B L O N D E? Is. Oh, maybe there's two ways to spell it. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me, Kui. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods, the woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. Kui, the shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people? Kui. Kui, so Machi is safe, eh? Ah, but the monsters, they are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure that they are safe? Kui. 
I'm worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you could calm their fears, I might be able to remember more about where this girl you seek went off to, Kui. Okay. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikwi Elder is an unfortunate setback. But he says that he might still have some useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. To expedite your search for these Forest Dwellers creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. Why, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Fee. You were quite useful. Do you need me to explain how to switch dowsing strategy? Nope. No thanks. Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover on your map and disable the dowsing readings for them. That way, you will not have to reverse the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwis. I will do that. <laughs> that'll, that'll do, pig. That'll do. But for now, other than switching over to Kikwi mode... There we go. Alright. And I can easily use it to spot them. Not this one. Clearly there's one in those directions, but that's not what I need. I'm, I'm looking for a safe point. I'm just gonna go down here. It's gotta be one right... There we go. Alright. Hitting this safe point. He is... Yes, I'm going to save, and see you guys in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword as we go on on the hunt for Kikwis. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Kwee.